What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. In this box is the ASICS Swift Strike, which is ASICS new speed boot in the Asia Pacific region. So I'm very excited to get these on feet, see what they look like, go over the tech specs, and of course, get the unboxing started right now. Very standard ASICS box. You guys have seen uh, the ASICS, this ASICS box in many of the reviews that I have done. Very simple, no BS, big ASICS logo on the top. You've got ASICS logos on three sides. And then of course, you've got the sizing right here. So these are in the aquarium and pure silver colorway, which is awesome. I've seen photos of these and they look really cool. Usual size nine US, which I know in some ASICS boots, I go down a half a size. I wanna try the true to size with these ones just to see how they go. Um, a UK eight and a Euro 42.5, 27 centimeters there. So Swift Strike for uh, this next little bit. Here we go. Whoa, what a colorway. Holy moly. Okay, so this is the ASICS Swift Strike. So the way that the marketing material goes for this uh, from the ASICS branding, I guess, is basically who for players who want a lightweight, fast boot that gives a closer to the ground feel with a lower heel pitch. So for a lot of ASICS boots, they've got a little bit of heel lift in them and that's to reduce weight uh, on or pressure on your Achilles. It helps a little bit with recovery and gives you a little bit of that kind of on your toes feeling as you're moving through uh, a field or doing some sort of uh, athletic activity, if you will. Lots of interesting things to talk about as well with this football boot, which I'm very excited for. So this one does have a five millimeter heel lift. You can see there, it's got the, uh, what does it say? H, HG five millimeter, yeah, HG five millimeter. And it's got some other features that we'll go over. So let's get these unboxed totally. There you go, no string bag there, um, which is probably fine. I don't think it matters that much to be honest, but uh, let's throw this one right there. And then we've got the other guy right here. So here we go. So let's take this stuff out quick as well and go over all of the tech specs. So interesting pair of football boots. So this is a new football boot in ASICS line, came out very recently, probably about two months ago now, a month or two months ago now. This for a speed boot is not the lightest, I will say. It's 8.21 ounces, which is about 233 grams. Now compared to some of the other stuff that they put out, including, because ASICS works interestingly in their football department because ASICS has different lines of boots in Asia Pacific region and the US markets and like what you can get. And so if you were to go to ASICS Australia, for instance, you won't be able to find DS Lite X Fly 5. You won't be able to find DS Lite X Fly Pro. Neither of those boots are available here. You could sh still ship them and it would be fine. Um, but they have, they're sort of starting to get into the football boot market here in Australia, particularly. So they introduced this one. And I've actually seen this on feet of a couple players recently out and about, which is kind of cool. So these, as I said, are 233 grams. So as far as speed boots go, I would say these probably aren't like speed boot esque. These are more of like the comfort and the performance you're going to get from uh, a more neutral shaped foot, which or from a neutral shaped boot with a little bit more comfort as a synthetic goes. So this is a synthetic leather forefoot area. It's called neck skin quarter panels. So you've got neck skin quarter panels here, and then you've got that synthetic leather through the forefoot, which actually feels quite soft. I will say this feels maybe without the texturing, it would feel a little more similar, but it does actually have the same kind of plushness of what feels like what Hybrid Touch 1.0 was, especially on that 2014 F50. So that's kind of cool. So really nice and soft forefoot area. I like that a lot. And then you've got these neck skin, it's spelled N-E-X-K-I-N quarter panels. So you've got those here. And I think what that is, is just a very thin synthetic material that's meant to act almost like those the, the midfoot of that 99 gram leather. So they're quite thin, uh, but they've got a really nice rigidity to them that I think will uh, have a, quite a bit of lockdown and um, keep your foot stable in the midfoot as you are cutting and sliding back and, forth, back and forth. So those are meant to be a little bit more like reinforcement panels. As I said before as well, HD five millimeter technology for close to the ground feel with, with uh, while also offering that heel raise. So you can see that 
piece of the flight foam, which the logoing is down here. So you've got flight foam, that insert kind of goes all the way around and that's that five millimeter lift you're gonna feel in the heel area. So if you are somebody who struggles with Achilles tendonitis problems, or if you have any sort of issues with your calf muscles or Achilles, I would consider looking at Asics boots because they are often they do have a bit of that roll and that lift to them, which I think for a lot of people provides a really nice amount of relief as you're trying to continue to play footy, which of course is the goal for you know all of us here trying to play, which is awesome. So flight foam, flight foam which is that midsole, and then you've got the double truss for mid, midfoot stability. That's that kind of the N right there. And uh, that just gives you a really nice amount of rigidity. I mean, they are absolutely bulletproof. Like I am really trying to bend those and that is super, super stiff through the midfoot, which I think is really nice. But then in the forefoot, you do have quite uh, a nice amount of flex to it, which is awesome. So for me, great amount of sole plate, mostly conical studs, in fact, all conical studs, I'm, gonna, I'm interested to see what this particular stud pattern, especially in this area here, like four studs here on the lateral side, four studs in the, in the heel area, that's fairly standard. But this particular area, I'm very excited to see if I have any stud pressure in that, in that side and uh, see how we go. So really interesting sole plate, fairly neutral it looks like, but again, we'll, uh, we'll be able to comment more when I get these boots on pitch as well. You've got the Solite removable sock liner, which is the same material that they use. Let's see if I can actually get these out. Same material that they use in their running shoe. So that is really nice. That is the case with some of their other uh, boots that I've tried, other Asics boots that I've tried. So you've got that sole light insole here. This happens to have the red bottom, which is kind of cool. And yeah, not much else to say, to be honest, about these boots. Uh, I think these are uh, an interesting product. They are, if I were to look at these on the shelf, I would kind of say, mm, I'm not sure about how they look, especially with some of these little more bulky heel area. I don't know how they look, um, but again, if they function really well, that's kind of what ASICs I think is going for, which at the end of the day, if it's gonna save your foot or if it's gonna help with a tendonitis problem or if it's gonna help with something that you know you, you have trouble with, that's what you should buy. I always preach buy the boots that fit your foot the fit fit the well, fit best. And for a boot like this that maybe doesn't look all that incredible compared to a Nike boot or an Adidas boot that's kind of built off aesthetics, a boot like this that's actually gonna function really well, I think might be a great option for a lot of people. Now as you guys know, having a very wide foot, especially here in the midfoot, it remains to be seen whether this boot will be suitable for foot types like mine. I'm hoping that especially with this pretty plush uh, and, and soft, honestly, synthetic leather forefoot, it should be totally fine in the forefoot. And then it's just about whether those midfoot panels are able to stretch and mold around the shape of my foot, which is no problem. So I'm actually just really curious what these feel like on feet. Excited to get these on. So without further ado, guys, let's hop into the on feet portion of the Asics Swift Strike. And we'll talk a little bit about who these are meant for and what the sizing is like. And then of course, should you buy them? All right, I'm out here in my backyard now. I am going to finish lacing up the Asics Swift Strike so you guys have a good idea of what these are like on feet. Now, I am a little bit hesitant with these ones just because of the way they look and how bulky they are. Um, they, they do come with that five millimeter heel lift um, and they are supposed to be built to be like a little bit closer to the ground compared to some of the other uh, boots in the Australian market. I think there's a lot of, it seems like online, I actually posted a picture of these the other day and got quite a bit of feedback from uh, people who are all in Australasia basically, um, mostly in Australia and New Zealand, who were all saying how frustrated they were that ASICS doesn't produce the same kind of boots that they have in, or that we can get in America, like the XFly 5 and the XFly Pro. I'm not sure why that is, and I'm actually gonna try to find some answers with uh, the ASICS guy that I work with 
um, who's super, super cool. So I'm gonna just go ask questions and see if I can find the answers to that because I do think that um, especially those other two boots, at least in like feel and hand, feel way better than these, uh, just generally speaking. So I'm interested to see kind of why they decided not to put those in, but let's get these on feet. Um, there's what they look like. I do like this blue color, um, very, very similar to the brand blue of the shorts that I'm wearing here. Uh, but here we go, Swift Strike. These are in my normal 9 US as well. Sorry, I'm a moving a little gingerly today because I did tweak my back over the weekend. So here we go. Let's get these uh, on feet. Boom. Okay, so not super. Yeah, all right. True to size, fits well. Um, feeling a little bit of pinching on the outside of my feet from the width perspective. Um, but let's get these laced up and see kind of how they fit and feel. Um, the heel area feels a little bit weird. Um, and I'm wondering if that's because, oh, I have like zero laces left. Um, well, maybe that was partially because that was supposed to be from the runner's knot, but there you go. Okay. Um, the heel feels a little bit weird. It feels like it doesn't go high enough. Um, so that's an interesting one. Let's, uh, there you go. Um, let's see kind of how the other one fits, but you can definitely feel the heel lift with this boot. No doubt there. Um, overall, fairly comfortable though. I think the, uh, the neck skin, which is that synthetic here in the midfoot area, does a pretty nice job of bending and molding to your foot. Um, and then the kind of that Tasian synthetic in the forefoot area is super plush. Um, or not plush, I guess, but super, it's very hybrid touch-esque, which is super nice. So it feels like it's molding to my foot already, which is awesome. Um, we'll get this laced up as well. Um, they are a little bit tight out of the box for sure. Uh, I definitely wouldn't go up a half a size. I think that'd be way too much. Um, but I do think these are going to take a little bit of break in time if I can even manage to wear them for longer than this uh longer than this review here we go so there you go that's what the uh swift strike look like um from the top down view i don't mind them i do know they look a little bit awkward in the heel area they look a little more runner like running shoe like uh which is I think a turnoff for a lot of people and I think why there's been some frustration around this football boot, uh, especially in the Australia region, which is where these are, you know, kind of built for. Sole plate feels uh, really actually quite good underfoot. I know this is a th synthetic pitch, it's just in my backyard, um, but so far so good. I think these are, the sole plate is totally fine and very similar to a lot of other ASIC sole plates that have just really good balance, pivot power. These are all conical studs, so you're not going to have any issues with uh, being able to plant, turn, pivot, and move, which is great. Um, and then you can definitely feel the heel lift on these. That is one thing that I think uh, ASICS was going for with this. It definitely feels like you're up on your toes a little bit more because of that heel lift, and you do have quite a bit more, like even though it is only five millimeters, it, it does feel quite raised. So that's what they look like on feet. It does kind of, I mean, even just the color looks kind of cool with my, uh, with the Noah Cavanaugh kit, just because it's the same, uh, same brand blue essentially, which is kind of sick. Um, but again, from a fit perspective, they fit pretty snug. The synthetic on the midfoot is really wrapping my foot well, which is nice. Uh, we'll kind of see over time through this review if they do start to pinch at all. But right now, not a whole lot of hot spots. I got to be honest, the only hot spots that I'm feeling are in the heel area. And they just, it feels like the heel is just not high enough. Like it doesn't go high enough. It doesn't like quite feel as secure as a lot of other uh, football boots on the market. Now, touch on the ball is very clean, I would say. I can't juggle, back is hurting, <laughs> uh, yeah. Honestly, touch on the ball is really good. I like the touch very much on these. I'm surprised whether they did this on purpose or whether they it was just like a byproduct of maybe the same manufacturer or whatever. Um, this upper, especially here in the forefoot area, feels very similar uh, to hybrid touch. This stuff here in the forefoot area, it's a little bit more slippery, um, but the softness of it and maybe feels a little bit more padded. So it's kind of in between hybrid touch 1.0 and 2.0. 1.0 obviously being on those 2,000 
14 F50 remakes that I've worn so much, and then the Hybrid Touch 2.0, which is obviously on the new Predators as well. So these are, uh, yeah, the, I really like the way that, and the tongue I think is the same material or a very similar material. So I would say that touch on the ball for these is actually quite good. Um, I really like how seamless it is. It feels very natural on feet and that is super cool. But overall, I think as a product, the Swift Strike is a decent product. I would probably fix a few things. Um, I would probably make the boot look a little bit nicer. Um, I know like an all blue silo kind of hides some of the things that are maybe a little bit less attractive about it. So if you look at a side profile of the boot like this, I think in that heel area, I would probably fix the, the jutting out that makes it look like you have a tennis shoe on or like a, like a football cleat on, like American football cleat on. And then from there, I would probably, you could probably keep the five millimeter thing in there just make the heel a little bit higher and then make the uh make the aesthetic of the boot maybe a little bit better uh, i think fixing some graphic patterns i think making them look really really clean and nice could do this boot a lot of good especially with the younger market um, i know i have seen a few people in the swift strike recently um, but that is uh that is just kind of like I don't know, that's, that's the way I would go about it. But I think touch on the ball and manipulation underfoot with this sole plate is gonna feel really, really good. I'm definitely gonna get a play test in here. My feet are feeling a little bit squished, but they don't feel like they're hurting at all, which is huge. ASICs in general does a really good job. Like regardless of how you think these boots look, ASIC do, ASICs does do a really good job of making boots that are gonna fit most foot types and the materials that they use really hold your foot in without being suffocating, which I think is one of the key, like one of the main things that a lot of manufacturers get wrong with football boots. They'll go either super, super tight or they'll go too loose. And so you kind of, there's no way to go in that middle area where I think ASICs kind of really does a nice job of blending comfort and performance um, they're not the best at either one but they're one of the best if not the best at like the combination of the two which is obviously a, a great thing so that's going to kind of wrap up my initial review of the asic swift strike overall decent product i think they feel comfortable like if i didn't if i didn't know what was on my foot i'd say like wow they wrap my foot really well and they have a good sense of locked well I can't really test lockdown right now, but um, they have a good sense of a locked in sensation feeling, nice underfoot feeling, definitely a heel lift. Um, but then you look at them and you're like, okay, they look a little childish and kind of plasticky. So I don't know. That's from that's that's my perspective. I think that's an easy fix, honestly, from the ASICs brand. This is a brand new silo. So as they start to iterate it, I'm sure it'll look a lot more clean, something like a Menace 4 or um, even the new generation of Menace, which I think will come out at some point in the next several months or a year um, because that Menace 4 has been out for a little while. So yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already joined the fam. As always, be awesome, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.